Hey guys, Magenta is back here today again with another body fight deck profile and this time it will be on my uh, favorite deck of all time, Blue Sky Knights. So what is Blue Sky Knights about? Blue Sky Knights is a really old sub clan which came out in the times of EB02, Great Clash Dragon vs Danger. But anyway, this is a sub clan that focuses on uh, life gain and most of the time it pisses your opponent off uh, yeah that's why I like this deck <coughs> alright moving on to the deck we have our buddy monster blue sky knight is drum bunker dragon uh, size 2 monster double rare from eb02 5k power 2 crits 3k defense call cost pay on gauge you may put a blue sky knight in its card name from your hand into this card soul when this card attacks you gain 1 life Basically, you gain one life every turn if you have him. So, yeah, we'll go on to uh, the rest of the deck. So, basically, you can gain life somewhat rather consistently. And that's what makes this deck really strong. So, we run four copies of our buddy monster, Blue Sky Knight's Drum Bunker Dragon, which his ability you've just seen. So moving on to the next size 2 we have is 4 copies of Blue Sky Knights Slash Eagle Dragon. Uh, when this card enters the field, if you do not have a monster in the center, you gain 1 life. 6k power, 2 crits. So 6k power is pretty good against uh, <coughs> against like bigger monster decks, I guess. So one problem that Blue Sky Knights used to have is, first of all, uh, their monster had really low crits and their monster at really low power. So that's the two main issues. And I think uh, these issues can be somewhat counteracted. I mean, alright, that's it for the size 2s. Let's just move on with the size 1s. We'll get on with it more in the next few minutes. Alright, moving on. Two copies of 5th Omni Calvary Dr Dragon Sand Staff Arcade. So why do we run 5th Omni? Because it fits with the theme of the deck as well, gains life, and of course, uh, it's skill. When this card is destroyed, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and you gain 1 life. 2k power, 2 crits, 2k defense. Basically, we use him as a way to increase life and increase gauge. Because in this type of old build decks, uh, it's really hard to finish off your opponents, so we still run the regular impact cards, which you will see later. <coughs> Alright, next, two copies of Blue Sky Knight Seeker Penguin Dragon. 3k power, 2 crits, 2k defense. All monsters on your opponent's field cannot move. So in case you have to fight move decks, you can just use this. Next, two copies of Blue Sky Knight's Down Media Dragon. It's one copy shiny. 5k power, 1 crit, 4k defense. Double Sword Dragon Clone. Just for the 5k power, I guess. It's pretty good, pretty good. Right, moving on to one of the best cards of the deck. Four copies of Blue Sky Knight Slangy Dragon. When this card enters the field, you don't have a monster in the center again in my life. So this card is my... Actually, one of my favorite cards. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, it's a mediocre stat size 1 with one less crit than the average. And however, it allows you to gain life. And... Yeah. <coughs> I mean, these cards that gain life on call, Slash Eagle and Slangy, they work really well with the set spell, which you will see later. Yeah, so one card that just. One card which is a monster, which gives you two life on call. So that's like free, free monster when you use Dragonic Heal. That's no joke, okay? So, yeah. And of course, sweet two copies of Shiny, because we all love Shiny cards. Yeah, moving on, moving on, moving on to the somewhat newer support of Blue Sky Knights. Four copies of Blue Sky Knights Systemic Dragon, Systemic Dagger Dragon, and three copies of Blue Sky Knights Boomerang Dragon. So, what does Systemic do? Size 1 monster, 2k power, 1k defense, 2 crits, that's trash stats if you were to ask me. When another monster is either Systemic or Blue Sky Knights in its card name enters a few, game 1 life, draw a card. So, some uh, works well as part of consistency of the deck. I mean cards like decks like uh 
Purgatory Knights are really sustainable because they have Purgatory Knight forever, but Blue Sky Knights do not have those kind type of cards. So this is your only sustain in the deck, and of course, one life every turn is also pretty good. So sick combo with Systemic Dagger and Boomerang Dragon is basically every turn you can call Boomerang Dragon, and every turn you can draw a free card and gain life. Yeah. I mean, let's move on to Boomerang Dragon skill. At the end of the battle, this card return this card to your hand and you gain one life. Pay one gauge. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. So, if you're gonna call this card, you're gonna have to spend a gauge, which means the gauge that you just charged this turn will be spent. So, of course, we need other ways of increasing our gauge, which, which is one of the reasons why we added Arcade into the deck. However, this deck is better. This card is better than the original Double Rare version because simply of the Blue Sky Knight's name which allow you to draw a card every turn. Yeah, that's it for the monsters. Alright, so moving on to items. We run 3 copies of Dragon Blade Drago Wing on Shiny. Pay 1 gauge when you gain life. For this turn, this card gets 1 crit. So it's your 3 crit wacker. Uh, pretty strong, I mean you can gain life every turn, it's pretty easy. So this is the offensive card with 3 crits. <coughs> and this is your defensive card with 0 crits. Sunblade Guren So. Uh, here you can read the name. 9k power, 0 crits. Moon shiny. Uh, Sun Dragon weapon, it's a new weapon. But I really like 9k power because it allows you to break through a lot of things. And a simple link attack with like your any monster, you can basically uh, beat the highest defense in the game. But of course, uh, I would have loved it if it would it has like double attack. But I guess that would be too broken. I mean, nine k power double attack. But still pretty good nine k. <coughs> so moving on to the spells. Two copies of Dragonic Thunder. Pay on gauge, destroy a size one or less monster on your opponent's field. Basically, you can get rid of your stupid Knight's Tetsuya. I mean, Tetsuya is an adventurer, but it's run in Knight's deck. You get what I mean. Alright, moving on to gauge increasing spells. One copy of Dragonic Endior and one copy of Dragonic Aura. So, why not just run both of each? I mean, I mean one copy of each is good enough. Two ways. One requires you to have a weapon equipped, the other requires you to have been dealt damage by your opponent or yourself, but we do not have damage and any blows. So anyway, this increases by 3, this increases by 2, and you gain 1 life. So, yeah, that's the gauge increase in the deck. Next, 4 copies of Green Dragonite Song of Ancient Lands, key card of the deck. Set spell, pay 1 gauge. When your armor dragon enters the field, gain one life. You may only have one of this card on your field. Otherwise, it will be too OP. You set four of these and you call monster, gain four life. Your opponent will never get you down. That's why for balance issues, it only you can only use one of it on your field at the same time. So next, standard four copies of green dragon shield. Nullify the attack and gain one life. And of course, it's best friend blue dragon shield. Nullify the attack and put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So just 8 shields because this deck allows you to gain life anyway, so you do not really need that many shields. And lastly, for the finisher cards, 3 copies of Gargantra Punisher with Tasuku's face on it. <coughs> so, this is the main reason why we use all these gauge increase cards and also one of the main win conditions of the deck because... Uh, because... Honestly speaking, it's quite... A weak deck. I mean, yeah. So you'll be happy enough to get your opponent to four and finish off, finish him off with Gargantua Punisher. But uh, as fun as this deck may seem, it's definitely not a tournament standard deck. I mean, maybe someday, someday Bushiro, please give Blue Sky Knight more love. I love this deck. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. That's all for the deck. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, leave a like down below to show me some support. If you're new to my channel, subscribe if you'd like to see more body fight deck profiles, card reviews, and stuff like that. Also, do remember to add me on Facebook and talk to me about any body fight related stuff. Yeah, until the next video, goodbye, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.